Hello and welcome to Scarlet Scoop. I'm your host, Samantha Hollingshead, here to bring you today's top stories. Ohio State grad Steve Martino and the director of the new The Peanuts movie, based on cartoonist Charles Schulz, long-running comic strip Peanuts, introduced his film at the Wexner Center for the Arts in a student-only screening. During his talk, he described his father's influence on his art and held a Q&A afterwards. My father was an art teacher, uh, and then he was the supervisor of art for the Dayton school system. And he never pushed, but art supplies were always around. Uh, he took us to museums, but he always made a game of it. You know, so our, you know, because when you're a kid, you're like, oh, museum again. But he would always turn it into a game. We would go into a museum and he'd say, well, you get to pick out one painting in this room that you can hang on your bedroom wall. Which one's it going to be? And so we would go digging around and it was made the experience fun. Michigan and Ohio State continue the battle not only on the field, but off the field as well. Ohio State fans seek to keep the trophy from Michigan in the 34th annual blood battle. The month leading up to the big football game between the two schools has been used to compete on which campus can get the most blood donations, a battle that's been going on since 1982. In its good efforts, it has become so big that there's an average of 2,500 donations on each campus. The overall record is currently Michigan with 19 blood battle wins and OSU with 13 blood battle wins. For this year's blood battle, Michigan currently leads with 1,845 points. The last four years, we've been going back and forth. So my freshman year, we lost, then my sophomore year, we won, and then we lost, and then we won. So it's been pretty even, and I definitely want to win it out my fifth year and kind of on the positive side of winning. Welcome to Eating with E. I'm Elizabeth, and this week we are going beyond the basic breakfast. From chicken and waffles to huevos rancheros to Nutella pancake balls, I've got some delicious early morning dishes for you to try. Starting off closer to home is Ethel and Pink. The restaurant and bar is conveniently located across from the Ohio Union and serves a variety of brunch dishes. If you've never tried chicken and waffles, this is the place to do it. Covered in cheese and syrup and filled with chicken and bacon, this is one meal that'll start your day off right. Heading to the short north is the eclectic Tassie Cafe. Their popular huevos rancheros contain freshly made black bean quesadillas with queso fresco as well as two eggs that come over easy. For sweeter options, their French toast takes a twist on the traditional. The cinnamon challah bread is baked fresh every morning, dipped in French butter, then covered in caramelized bananas. Let's finish this week's segment with the home of the original pancake balls. The former gas station turned restaurant Catalina's Cafe Corner prides itself on their unique breakfast time treat. Their pancake balls are made using all local ingredients and served with Ohio maple syrup and Catalina's original sweet and spicy bacon. Customers can choose a Nutella, dulce de leche, or pumpkin apple filling. Their breakfast tacos are also not to be missed. The dish was a first place winner in a citywide contest and comes with three white corn tortillas filled with house-made chorizo, scrambled eggs, avocado, queso fresco, and pico de gallo. That's all for this edition of Eating with Eve. Throwing it back to Samantha to finish off the show. With One Direction and Justin Bieber's albums both released last Friday, the battle for sales and for tween pop star dominance hit an all-time high. There's currently some strong alliances across Ohio State's campus. I like Justin Bieber better than One Direction because I love his song, Love Yourself. It's really great. Jam out to it, sing along. Yeah. But I like the One Direction album because my favorite song is Drag Me Down, so I love listening to it. Well, before we go our separate ways to enjoy our weekends, here's some cool events going around Columbus to check out. ESPN's College Game Day will call Ohio State's campus home on Saturday as the Buckeyes prepare for the big Michigan State game. The live television show will take place on the Oval in front of Thompson Library. Also, the Columbus crew will battle the New York Red Bulls this Sunday in the first leg of the Eastern Conference Finals. Well, that's it for this broadcast of Scarlet Scoop. For more stories, visit thelantern.com and make sure you like us on Facebook and hit the follow button on Twitter and Instagram. Have a good weekend.